Good afternoon. It's May 2nd. Uh, temperature... The high for today is supposed to be 15 degrees Celsius. That is... 59 Fahrenheit. I've been at the bus for about 6 or 7 hours already because I put three coats of wood sealer on top of my... on top of my stained wall. Here, let me show you, let me show you the uh, wall. Now, the reason I went ahead and did the three coats of sealer first was because I'm doing four coats of sealer, so why show you all three coats, the sanding involved, and then the fourth coat? So I figured I'll just show you the sanding that I do on the just before the final coat, and you can see me apply the sealer on the final coat and how I do it. So I'll put you up on the tripod and we'll get going. I'll try to put you up on the tripod. Yeah, you're good. The sandpaper I'm using is a 220 grit. The sandpaper I'm using is a 220 grit. Holy git. The sandpaper I'm using is a 220 grit sandpaper. You want something nice and fine, you don't want to go too deep. Most of you already probably know this, but I'm just going to say it anyway. When you're doing sanding, you want to sand with the grain, not against it. You'll cause more scratches. And it's not a good thing.
all sanded. I'm going to take a cloth and a spray bottle and lightly spray the surface so I can get the so I can get the dust off. If, if, if I do this, I don't get all of it off, so I want to make sure I get I want to make sure I get all of it off so when I go to do the final coat, nothing stays behind. So like I said, I don't want to soak down the wall, I just want to get it a little damp so just so I can get the excess residue off. What I started with was work around the inside of the window, work work the section, you know, like work this one section, then see if there's any extra uh, extra sealer on the corners because when you're using a roller, it'll leave the extra deposit on one. Like if you're rolling here, you'll get extra on the top. If you're rolling here, you'll get extra on the bottom or on the side of me. So I take the roller and just very very gently touch that up. not to use a roller when applying it because you'll leave air bubbles or you'll have a slightly rougher texture I don't mind that I, I like I want a slight slight rough texture just because I'm going for the aged wood look
Just as I was finishing up, I heard the camera click. The battery died. Go figure. So that's what I did to put the sealer on the entire wall. What you just saw me do. And boy, did it get dark in here quick. So we'll let that dry. I'll put the countertop in place. I'll put the stove in place. Then we'll take a look at what this place would look like. Well, this half would look like finished. So stick around and let me get everything in place. Okay, now time for a little bit of show and tell. Woo, that is bright. So, over here there's still going to be a cat house in a way. Should be about another 18 inches higher or something. This outlet is going to be two regular plugs with USB combined into it. This will be for the, this will be a bench here. Oh man, that, that is way too bright. That is showing the wrong color. That is horrible. That's closer. That's the color. Yeah, that's the color. So let's see if we can keep it that color, if it's going to keep changing on me. Yeah, it shows it as black now. Typical. So... Countertop. Another plug with USBs. Holy... There we go. Now it catches up. Three rain... Uh, three... Three burner uh, stove little oven not like I can fit much in there but it'll do pizza cake pizza let's see does it it's not giving me the proper color on this one but if you remember from yesterday's video or the video from the other day that's close But remember from the video from the other day how there is a huge color difference between these two? Uh, like from the bottom half here to the top half here because I had sanded this lower part. Not much of a difference now. I like it. Yeah, not much of a difference. Sorry, I'm just constantly adjusting that light heat. Over here, there will be an undermount sink. I can't finish this off just yet because once I mount the propane tank underneath the bus, I need to know where the propane lines are going. So I have to leave this open and unfinished for now until the propane is connected. That's why I have the stove in place. So the sink is here right next to it that thermostat's going to be moved because right here the fridge is going the fridge is going to be here there's going to be a closet right here then the thermostat with the closet ending right about here the thermostat's going to be mounted on that side and then we're into the bedroom but we're not going to show any more on this side because it is a complete disaster back here. I had to move everything so I could do this little show and tell. Fridge outlet. This is 120 fridge. This is a 12 volt fridge. So, yeah. So I'm thinking next, hopefully, will be the propane. So I can get the propane lines run. Then I can get my... 110 gallon water tank in place and you won't be able to see it nope but anyway
that's it for today. That's it for today. Have a good one. Catch you next time.